Hey guys, it's eBuzz with me, Rohit Khilani. I'm going to talk about Joker. Yes, that is the much-awaited release of the week. It released on 2nd October, ahead of its US release. Uh, I had already watched the film because I was in LA to interview Walking Phoenix and Todd Phillips, the director. Uh, it's one of the most awaited films of the year. Uh, I watched it. I've already put out my review on Indie TV Hop. You should totally watch that if you are interested in watching the film, which I assume you are. Um, this is not a superhero film. The thing in India is I'm meeting a lot of people who are thinking that this is one of the Batman movies. It's not. It's a story of a bad guy. It's a story of a negative guy. Um, that's Joker. Uh, he goes through a lot of struggles. He's a stand-up comedian, a failed stand-up comedian who lives with his mom in New York. Uh, this is around the 70s and 80s when there was uprising. There was a graffiti movement. People stood up against uh, against anything that they thought was wrong. There was there was a lot of chaos in that city, and this film captures that beautifully. You should totally watch it for that. Uh, I will show you what we have on NDTV Hop. This is my interview with Joaquin Phoenix. So when you log on to NDTV Hop, I hope you have the app. Go on the show called What's Buzzing. You will see Walking Phoenix talking to me. This is an exclusive interview. Nobody in India has this. This is only on NDTV Hop. So he speaks in a very interesting way, very passionate about this role and what a performance. You should totally watch this interview. And of course, you I'm sure you will watch Joker. Um, I also interviewed Todd Phillips. My interview with the director is on this uh, app as well. Uh, Todd was uh, asked me something after the interview because people are writing to him on his Instagram. Uh, they are asking him to release Joker in Hindi. Uh, he was asking me about the market and you know he has a lot of interest in India because he said a lot of people from India write to me on Instagram. That's That was so good to hear that you know um, people are interested in, in, in this film and they're writing to him directly and it registers. He, he knew, uh, he was asking what is it like you know to dub in Hindi it was a big difference if he just puts it out with subtitles. So there was a lot of interest in him for the Indian market which was fantastic. My interview with of course uh, Walking Phoenix was interesting. Uh, I was the second person to interview him. There were a lot of people on that day. It was a two-day junket, I feel. I was on the first day, the second interview. When I walked out of the room, um, people asked me, how was he? Because there were other reporters from Hollywood there. They asked me, how was he? Did he talk about this? What did he talk about? Um, he was, one, very interesting. Two, he's a terrific actor. He's, you know, you just want to, you just want to see how this guy who I'm interviewing played Joker, you know, body transformation, the way he was so different. The guy in, sitting in front of me is so different. So you want to meet that guy. So that's the reason you should watch this interview on Hop because you get to see the guy behind Joker. Who was he? Um, he was very fidgety in the room. He was very, uh, I, I would say, uh, interesting and also impatient because just that um, there are too many interviews happening on that day and pretty much they end up repeating more or less the same thing. Uh, was a great experience to meet him, talk to him and also to Todd Phillips. What stays with me is the laugh. How long did it take for you to get the right laugh? Right, right when I first met Todd, he showed me some videos. Right. I started working on it and that was honestly, you know, seven <laughs> months before we started shooting. Right. No, I didn't practice it all through that period. Okay. But honestly, I don't feel like I started to find it until we were shooting several weeks. There's been a big debate that goes on once a film like that comes every time that, you know, glorifying a, a, someone who's a bad guy. Mm. Uh, what do you want to say to them? Well, I think they should wait to see the movie mm. because I don't know that we glorify anything. Right. I think at the end of the movie, I mean, right. we are ultimately making an origin story of a villain. Mm. And I think really what the movie is about is a, a little bit about empathy and the lack thereof in society. Right. Vogue Beauty Awards 2019 happened in Mumbai. We were the only network to get access inside the red carpet and at the event. So if you want to watch the Vogue Awards, who won what, exclusive interviews, you have to download Hop and watch it on that. Now check this out. Um, I've interviewed pretty much everyone who was there. That's Shahid Kapoor talking to me. That's Alia Bhatt talking to me. That's Shahid. You know, so we have a lot of content. That's Kriti looking absolutely stunning. Um, I was joking about her height because she's so tall. I always have to hold the mic up and same for Vicky Kaushal. He was also there. Shilpa Shetty, who, who was there as soon as she entered, she asked me to ab tak hai, which was quite funny because I know her from back in the days. Sahara Ali Khan looking lovely. These are all, you can watch all this closer to your phone on NDTV Hop. 
Sharmila Tagore, like looking so gorgeous in that sari. Um, it was a, now that's Vicky Kaushal. I have all the interviews. These are all ex because we were right there. These actors entered. They first came to. Uh, they did all the media buys. Then we were given NDTV. It was given a you know separate NDTV enclosure. We were there where all the celebrities came and spoke to us. We asked them some fun questions. We should you you should totally check out on NDTV Hop. And then you should watch the awards because these were awards given away for beauty, health and fitness. Um, Alia told me she gave away one award to her fitness instructor, which was quite sweet. And he and the, and the instructor didn't know that Alia Bhatt is going to be there to present. So they had planned a lot of surprises. It was a classy event, very well done. Uh, so watch uh, my interview with Joker, Walk in Phoenix, Todd Phillips and watch Vogue Awards on NDTV Hop.